Because I'm such a believer in systems and giving quantifiable information to students, I've created something that I call the vital signs. And it comes from uh, going to a doctor and having them say, well, let's check your blood pressure, check your pulse, uh, check your temperature. No matter why I go in, they always want to check those basic things. Well, when we look at putting and we look at solid online and speed with attitude, there are a few really quick, simple tests that I can take a, a player through in just a minute or two, but they give me a quantifiable result so that I can then begin to coach accordingly. So we've got three very simple uh, drills and one sort of process that we can watch for that will help us get there. So when we're talking about checking the vital signs of a player right off the bat when they come for a putting lesson, I love the idea that they walk onto the putting green and there's a few things set up and I'm anticipating my time with them. They love that, I love that as a, as a patient or as a student to walk in and know that I'm, my time is respected and they're anticipating me. So that's a great part about the vital signs. They know that, uh, that, that you're expecting them, that you're excited. And what I have set up are uh, really four sort of real quick stations. The first is our regular mirror with the rail. Do they set up? Is it lined up at my target? Are they lined up? Are their eyes over the ball or, or basically where you want them to be? Are their shoulders square to the line? How's the shaft angle of the putter? And I'm just checking to make sure we got those things basically going before I start with anything else. When I do that, it kind of gives me a chance to check that off. And then I roll through the vital signs pieces. We hit some balls of steel from about 18 inches, see how we're doing with that. Are we decelerating? Are we hitting it twice? Uh, are we hitting it too high in the face? Is it, are we transferring energy? The second part is I use the putting scope to really help me see am I starting it online. And I can go close uh, to the front leg or move it back with skill level, but if I can't get it through that scope leg, I know that I'm not starting it online. Maybe it's the face, maybe it's path, but I know I'm not starting it online. And the final step to the vital signs process is I sit down a three foot circle and I get back to about 20 feet or so and see how many putts they can get in that circle or close. Is there a pattern? Are all the putts short? Are all the putts long? Give them as many as you want to to feel comfortable. But what happens is uh, my student begins to realize we go through this every time. Just takes me a couple minutes, but when we get done, that's going to set the tone of what our lesson's gonna look like because I now know and I've been able to identify probably one of the problem areas in the putting stroke for my student.